hello guys haruna here in this short demo i'm gonna show you how you can use uh, virtualbox to do nested virtualization on your pc so what i have here is uh, virtualbox installed on ubuntu 18.04 and that's what we're going to use for the quick demo nested virtualization actually allows you to install another os in your guest os right so right now i have uh, this guest os running i have multiple of them here so uh we're going to use this open stack that's the name i've given this this also ubuntu 18.04 but it can be done on any os actually so we can just see the specs the uh, specs on my guest os here but before we proceed we you need to be able to check to see if your os supports hardware virtualization you can use lscpu from your terminal to see the specifications you have so for this for on my pc the information that's important here is virtualization here you can see it's vtx vt it supports that and uh, you can see the cpus i have the name the model name and what have you so intel the vendor you can yours might be amd then you, you you should check as well to see if it supports that so that's it about that so let's come back to this uh, the feature that allows you to do this is uh, on the settings and you go to system and in the system you see your processor you can see i have enabled nested uh, vt this this should allow you to install another os in this uh, vm as well so depending on the specs you have available you can decide to give this maybe one cpu two three or four it just depends on what you're trying to achieve so um what else do we have um, i think that's that's what's important here for now so now we can just go ahead and start this pc i think so start yeah and also a diversion as well uh help uh, if you go to about you can see it's virtual box 6.1 so you can upgrade yours to little test version just in case so ubuntu 16 18.04 is is coming up so let's see if it comes up we're going to try to uh install another os in it to see how that works out for us so it's uh, booting up Okay, 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 let's see. Okay, let, let me, I'm just gonna pause this because it's taking a while to boot, so let's. All right, so we have uh, the Ubuntu guest running. So I'm gonna log in as uh, one of my users, which is uh, stuck. So let's see. Okay, okay, let's. Okay, now we have this VM running. So I have a virtual box installed here as a VM, but I've not installed any OS in it. So let's start that as well. Okay so while this is running now we can create a new vm just go new let's call this vm maybe it's just uh, nested mint uh, that's because i have the mint by the way is because we're going to install linux mint os and i, I have the image in, uh, downloaded here uh if your distribution is not here you can just go with uh, other linux if it's a windows machine you of course you you choose from here what os you're using so it can be anywhere 
for RAM, we can just, uh, let's see, maybe, I don't know, it can be anything above, above say, one gig or something, and it depends on what you have available on your PC. So hard disk create, yes. Next, next, yeah, dynamically allocate, yeah. Storage, we can just add a bit, any. So create, okay. So what else do we need? Yes, the OS, the image itself. So if you go to settings, you can check storage to see at the moment it's empty. So you, I have the, the image, but you can choose a file depending on where you have it on your PC. So uh, Linux, Mint, uh, what else do we need? Uh, I'm trying to see, okay, we don't need this floppy disk and we want it to boot from the optical drive first. If it doesn't see anything there, check the hard disk. Yes, so uh, for network, uh, yeah, NAT is okay. We, we're okay with NAT. We just need one interface. That's this demo is not about uh, the networking aspect of this. So just start. Okay, so it's, yes, this is the installation page uh -huh. enter okay it's going well so far we just okay let's let's see what happens oh it's running yes linux means 19 dot three i just downloaded this not long ago so i guess this is the latest version they have at the moment okay it's trying to load for for some uh, reasons if you are trying to start a vm in this environment and it gives you an error saying uh, virtualization support not installed like i have i i grabbed my i grab i have my screen here that shows that message here it says kernel driver not installed so what i did to get rid of this is to upgrade my os like if it's uh that's upgrade my repositories you can use uh, sudo apt upgrade to just make sure everything is up to date and that should do it but if it doesn't or if you run into any other type of error you can drop a comment in the comment section so we can check it out and see how it's going to work for you so let's see what's happening linux mint anyway the installation is running it's trying to to start so Let's see what happens. Okay. Let me pause this and see if it just so it doesn't make the video unnecessarily long. Okay, we have uh, Linux Mint now, the live, the live image. So you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do. Maybe install Linux Mint or maybe you just want to use this as is. So you can just do about virtually anything you would do on a, a normal physical machine so yeah i think that's that so let's see but let's just for fun let's see the terminal and see what we have do we have anything in terms of maybe ip address we should have an ip address from from the host interesting yeah, we have this 10.2.0.2.15. Uh, this should 
let's see if we'll be able to go to the internet from here perfect so yeah so i think that's basically it uh, we have linux mint installed on ubuntu right on ubuntu vm that's on my ubuntu host so just nested and you can do a lot of things with this it depends on what you're actually trying to do the type of lab you're trying to build and all so uh, i would like like to thank you for watching this and do make sure you give a thumbs up if you like the video and if you have any question if yours is not working for whatever reason you can drop a comment the question so i can try to see if i can get back to you so see you next time